Hello everyone, welcome back. Josh here. Just wanted to share something that I thought was kind of more of the same stuff we're seeing lately with these news articles like here it is, the independent news organization. Someone shared this with me and they're just a mainstream news network and you can see sort of the stuff they put out just looks like the rest of the world's news organizations, the controlled media. But it says here, our understanding of the universe could be fundamentally wrong astronomers say so it's not us saying it it's astronomers so you have to listen but it says the cosmos could be a different shape than we thought new data suggests and it's kind of an interesting article because they're always kind of skating around why things aren't adding up and so many people are figuring it out that something's wrong with the model we're given there's a lot of things we're seeing that don't match up there's observations we can make even from ground level that show us something is up. But these articles are kind of like the ones I saw when I was first investigating this stuff. Like the fact that scientists found an impenetrable barrier above them when they were trying to see you know, how far they could bounce signals and get something back. They actually found what they said was an impenetrable barrier, like a science fiction type of thing. And NASA came right out with a story saying that there's just a man-made bubble surrounding Earth, and no one really seemed to be bothered by that. They even said that their spacecraft had spotted this bubble surrounding Earth, and I thought that was just convenient stories, like the ones you're seeing here. But it says, newly released data from the Planck Teller Planck, I don't know how you say that, telescope, which aimed to take very precise readings of the shape, size, and ancient history of our universe suggests that there could be something wrong in our physics, according to a new paper. The issue could be an indication of a crisis in cosmology. So there's a crisis. People are figuring things out. That may be as yet unrealized because of problems with our understandings of the shape of the universe, the authors of a new paper write. At the moment, scientists generally, be generally believe the universe is flat. <laughs> that is, in keeping with the large amounts of data gathered from telescope peering deep into space, including readings from the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope, but in a newly published paper, researchers note that the latest release of data from the same telescope gave different readings than expected under our standard understanding of the universe. Those could be explained by the fact that the universe is closed. The universe is a closed system. This is very, very, very um, interesting that they're saying the universe is closed. Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. <laughs> the authors write that it's closed, which would help explain issues with the readings. Imagine that. That could mean that our assumption of a flat universe may actually be masking a cosmological or cosmological crisis where disparate observed properties of the universe appear to be mutually inconsistent the authors write to resolve the problem further research will be required to understand whether we have simply not detected another piece of the puzzle or are simply a statistical fluctuation but they could also suggest that we are lacking a new physics that is yet to be discovered, they write. We're looking for some sort of Einstein character to come up with something else. The shape of the universe affects some of our most fundamental understandings of existence. I do not disagree with that. Deciding the geometry of how the cosmos is assembled. Listen to that. It's assembled. So these are people that are obviously not creationists, but... From the way they're talking, might be having a switch here. In a flat universe, parallel lines will run forever. Just like if you draw a set of them on a sheet of paper, but if it's not flat, they intersect. If you draw two parallel lines onto a spherical object, like a football. For instance, 
they run into each other on the other side. Scientists have long been convinced the universe was shaped like that sheet of paper, but the new paper suggests that could be wrong, and it is not flat, but rather closed. It's interesting, because when I looked at models of the solar system, it was always flat, and space-time, not really sure what they said it was made out of, but when they do their little demonstrations of gravity, it always looked flat to me. Nothing wrong with the flat universe. But the authors of the new paper say that if it is correct that the data from the Planck telescope suggests we are inside of a closed universe, it introduces a new problem for modern cosmology. Part of the issue is a consequence of the fact that our current precise understandings of the cosmos is arrived by combining different data sets, measuring different things in different ways. Together, scientists generally assume that those data sets are consistent and come from the same cosmological model. But some of those data sets are actually in contradiction with each other. There has been intense discussion of exactly how fast the universe is expanding. Because seriously, we have no evidence of it expanding. For instance, and measurements from the telescope have been in contradiction with others, scientists have tried to reconcile these differences with alterations to our understanding of physics or to suggest that there might be or there might not be quite such a difference as thought. But those attempts have generally relied on the assumptions of a flat universe. The author's right, and that may be incorrect. The researchers have revealed their findings in a paper, Planck Evidence for a Closed Universe and a Possible Crisis for Cosmology, which has just been published in Nature Astronomy. So, definitely a crisis in cosmology. It's interesting to see astronomers talking about this. Not something I expected to see on a website like this. They are pushing sort of the Big Bang, expanding universe type of stuff. But just calling it a closed universe and saying that we're in a crisis, it just makes it seem like they're under the influence of people like us, and they're starting to ask questions, questions that we would have never asked and that we went our whole lives without asking. I was pretty set in my ways. There was nothing that was going to take away the ideas of creation that I had and reality and what I lived on because it was almost set in stone. It was going to take miracles and a spiritual movement to get me to snap out of what I was under, just sort of the influence of this world and the wisdom of this world. And so putting out all of our research and our evidence to support that something is off, not that we have all the answers, but we just, we know something's off and they're hiding something. When we try to find answers and prove the given reality, we can't. And it's frustrating. I remember looking at rocket footage when I first got into this thinking, I'm going to watch a rocket leave Earth and then go all the way to the ISS because we should have that footage. And I couldn't find a rocket launch footage uncut that lasts longer than seven or eight minutes. And they just cut it off. And then you would find these people sending balloons up for a fraction of the price and having three to four hours worth of footage. And they are just your everyday people. Why can't they go and work for NASA and, and put things on rockets so we can see what the Earth really looks like if they're really going where they tell us they're going? It should be very easy to do. So a lot of frustrating things when you're looking into this. And then you go and look at the stars and you go, I'm just going to look at them for six months and see what happens. Surely we'll be on the other side of the sun in six months and I'll be looking a different direction at totally different stars. And when that doesn't happen, you just kind of go, well, <laughs> it's time to accept that I've been lied to and something's off. And I think that's what astronomers are starting to do because we really are in a crisis. They are scrambling to find out why the universe is no longer flat. So it's, it's funny that they're saying the universe may not be flat while we're saying <laughs> that the Earth may not be round. They're kind of in the opposite here. But that's sort of the thing I was thinking about, too, though, is I was always given this flat model of the universe growing up. 
and then I was told it's exploding outwards almost like a firework so it's not really flat and we're just spiraling through the galaxies the universe I mean we're just going at these crazy speeds none of which ever show up in time lapses of any kind you can watch the star trails make perfect circles around Polaris everybody's talked about that and that's something anybody can observe but the fact that earth moves so much in that 12 hour span of night or if you have more hours because you're somewhere where the sun doesn't reach and you can film for more hours they're always going to make perfect circles and that doesn't match our motions we're moving the distance of earth's diameter every minute according to that model we're only spending about 16 and a half miles in that exact same minute while we are orbiting the sun around 1100 miles and star trails never match those motions now does this prove that the earth is not a ball or spinning no it doesn't it could still be a ball and spinning and causing us to see it that way but there are more important arguments than the shape of the earth and more important things going on battles and some things that we need to be focused on in these very important times where where people are waking up to the fact that there is a creator that there is a father that loves us he's listening to us prayers are being answered everywhere and people are just seeking truth the generation that we're we're a part of now was prophesied about so long ago and all of those prophecies that have continued to come true and the word are still coming true today there is something special about this awakening and it doesn't need to be hindered by disputes and arguments about the shape of earth or how it moves I really have been feeling a conviction that even the name of this channel kind of becomes like a denomination and I never thought of it that way when I created it that was not my intention but the unity needs to happen and I'm finding that many people on the creation side or the stationary earth or flat, whatever you want to call it, side, are combative. And it's breaking my heart because that's not what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to be combative. I get asked to be parts of debates all the time. And I, I avoid most of them. Now, if the father wants me to talk to somebody, I'll talk to them. I don't want to debate anyone. They have eyes. They have the scientific method. They can look at things the way they want to see it I believed in the globe 100 percent when the miracles happened in my life and so it's been on my heart to possibly change our channel name still be FEB always be the brothers but it's just it's one of those things it is it seems like a big move especially with people being unsubscribed all the time and um, unnotified or whatever and the shadow ban that's obviously going on it's it's very it's been something scary for me and plus the fact that I'm just a people pleaser I have to make sure I don't put that over what the father wants me to do and so if I'm, I'm feeling convicted it's probably for a reason and I think it would really be nice to have something that still has maybe the same initials so I'm not just completely changing it but honors him in a greater way and doesn't create a, like a denomination because creation is so much greater than we can fathom the shape of the earth and the depths of it the heights of the firmament all that stuff the father knows it he put the earth on its foundations and he's moving in all of our lives I really think that the time is running out and everybody's feeling that there's something spiritually up the attacks are increasing from what I'm hearing a lot of you are experiencing an increased level of attacks that's because there's something they're wanting to stop you from doing we cannot unite according to them because that scares them and I have a testimony to share and part of that is the union and you guys uniting with us in prayer I'm going to share that really soon just want to get um, everything together before I do that and it has to do of course with some miracles that are happening right now especially with our mom she wanted me to share with you guys and just a little uh, spoiler alert she's doing great and I thank you all for uniting with us in our time of agony when we tend to step too far away from the Father and His peace and His joy and all of that and just became 
burdened by the weight of this world. So I thank you all for uniting with us in purpose and letting us have or helping us have a testimony that's positive. And my mom was wanting me to tell you guys about that. She's doing great. She's doing a new treatment, no longer doing the chemo. So thanks again for that. Moms are special superhumans that were put on this earth to do great things. So love your mothers. Do not take them for granted. They are a miracle. And when God made woman, he had experience making someone. So he did a great job making making them. And they have special abilities that I know me as a dad could never have. I can love my children to death, but there's just something special about a mother. They're pretty much every child's first love. So don't take them for granted. I know that's off topic, but it's really not. That's really what I need to share. More testimonies, and I'm wanting to put a lot of them together and not just share them on here. Share them in person and try to be more bold and brave and step out of my comfort zone. There are just so many things that I've kept quiet about, and it's time to no longer be silent and start sharing the good news and what the Father is capable of and just how real he is. You know, exposing all the fiction and all the lies is one thing. Really need to show people the long suffering, the loving Father, the one who picked me up so many times when I didn't deserve it. When I was at my lowest points and furthest from him, he reached further than he should have and picked me right up. And I know many of you have that same testimony and I, I love hearing those. It's, it just, it, it builds us up when we hear these things and we, sh and we fellowship and share these things with each other. It really does build us up because there is a real creator, a real father who loves us. His design was perfect. We chose death and it's been a battle ever since we've been in a battle with the evil ones that are running this place. And so spiritual battles are real. Make sure you have the full armor on and ready, the shield of faith. It's really a shield of trust. The word faith, as my brother once told me, just means trust. And the words that came out of my mouth before one of the greatest miracles that ever happened to me was trust. And I said, I trust you. And that's when the miracle happened. It was right after I said that. So those words are powerful as well as us uniting. So. Stay united. Do not let this topic of cosmology divide you from family and friends and fellowship. If people don't want to think about it or talk about it, it's no big deal. You know, it's, it's you know, the influence of the wisdom of this world is everywhere. I don't want that to divide anyone from coming here and hanging out with us and fellowshipping. If you're kind of like, well, I think I could believe in creation, but you're one of those people. Hang around and find out, you know, that maybe we believe things differently, but there are some truths to what we're saying, and we have experienced the power of the Father. We know He's real. We can't just deny what we have proven in our own lives to be true. You can do the same. Just reach out, okay? Don't don't uh, think that it's going to be like what the church tells you with this wrathful being that wants you to burn forever, you know, and all those lies. The Father takes no joy in those that perish. Death is the enemy, and it's the last enemy to be defeated. His design at creation did not include death. We chose it. So remember that and know the Father is always willing. He's so much greater than I could explain. There's joy unspeakable out there for you. All of you that have the burdens, things you're trying to overcome, just have to be ready for it, and you can. If you're ready, He will set you free in the blink of an eye from whatever it is. I don't care how powerful of a beast you've been facing with lust or whatever. Tell him you're ready. And when you're ready, he's ready. He's always willing. So keep up the good fight. You guys are awesome. Much love to you all from the brothers and the father that loves you far more than you could ever imagine.